Before we start the video, I'd like to shout out Logger.com for sponsoring this video. They have an awesome site where you can buy a bunch of in-game currency and items, including all your favorite Rocket League items. Also, make sure you use code DOLBOBS to get an easy 6% off your orders. Check out the site, there's a link in the description. But for now, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys, Dills here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now today, we're going to be jumping straight into a Zephyr crate opening. I'm going to be opening 20 crates, but there's a catch as well. I'm going to be opening 8 of the crates with decryptors, because I thought, you know what, why, why spend some keys when I have 8 decryptors to go? But if using those 8 decryptors, I get something absolutely insane, then I'm not going to be too impressed. But honestly, if you get something cool from a Zephyr crate, I mean, it's good either way. It just means I won't be able to sell it, um, but... Never mind. Um, but anyway, I say we're just going to jump in. I got a cup of tea right here because I've basically just woken up. But <sighs> yeah, we're just going to jump into this. It's not going to be... I, honestly, I don't think I'm going to get anything in good. My crate looks awful. But you know, if you want to help me out with a main frame or a main frame or like, you know, painted singularity, then you can. But let's use our AD cryptos first and let's just get straight into this. It's going to be good. See what we're gonna get. A radical chantico, nice. Octane chantico. I've not got one of them yet, but I mean, give it to me, Sionix. That's a decryptor right there. Come on, give me, give me one you got. Oh, see, I would. You know, I'd really uh, thread wheels. Okay, I can't trade them. They're not painted, but. I could trade them up with decryptors, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can trade them up with decryptors with other items. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Not got these wheels yet, so they look quite nice. Um, let's use another decryptor. Obviously, the only thing I really want from this is possibly a cyclone car. And um, that's really it, to be fair. I don't, I'm not too fussed about anything. But if I could get a cyclone, then that would be nice. Um, and then the wheels, I mean, I've already got a pair of reactor wheels that I bought to do a showcase video. Um, really? You can give me this. Um, dynamo wheels, I still yet to have. And then anything from there is a bonus. I mean, well, it's not really over. I spent a lot of keys on this, but never mind. Wait. Come on. The song just changed. That could be good luck. I could be getting something nice. Three, two, one. Hook me up with another one of these. Like, what is wrong with this decal? It's for the breakout as well. And let's be honest, a very low number of people use the breakout. But I mean, if you want to throw it my way, then I will obviously take it. But thanks, Alex. Binary, paint it maybe. I do know that you can get these painted, so maybe the game wants to hook me up with a painted version of this. No, obviously it's not painted or certified anything yet. But I'm pretty sure that's because I'm using a decryptor and it hates me. But I mean, let's move on. Hopefully this, this 20 crate opening doesn't take too long because if it's just rare decals and binaries, then I don't think you really want to be watching it. But I mean, a crate opening is a crate opening. You're here for the luck. Honestly, my crate luck is actually trash. And I say it every time I do a crate opening, but I've never actually gotten anything that insane in a, in a crate. I think I should open more, but then if I open more, I'm wasting my keys on something that I could just buy outright. But then crate openings are more fun and people want to watch those. But I don't get anything good, so why do you want to watch that? Look, like, a red eco. Is there something I need to do? Is there, like... I don't know. Ooh, this is... This is getting a bit boring. Um, last decryptor. Maybe maybe it's just the decryptors. But, like... I've seen people, like... John Sandman, he opens up quite a lot of crates. But not, like... He just opens crates to open crates. And he just gets some insane stuff sometimes. And then Pick a Pixel. Like, my guy Pick a Pixel over there is just pulling... Like, titanium white cyclones and stuff, and titanium white reactors probably already, and mainframe and singularity. It's just like, you're kidding me, right? But I mean, rare decals. I mean, I love them, yeah. They're amazing. But, this is our first key of the day, so hopefully we can uh, get something good with a key. There we go. It's the decryptors, I'm telling you. Okay, wait. I have a theory now, guys. I think what is happening is, Sionix is like, you know what? And it's certified, the first thing it's certified. Right, I'm just gonna have a look what certification that is, just in case it's striker. And then I'm not gonna sell it and I'm gonna use it. Aviator. Hmm. Not bad. Aerial goals. I score a ton of them because you know I'm a bit. <laughs> um but basically, um yeah, my theory anyway. So my theory is that because I was using decryptors and I have to basically keep those items forever, Sinex was like, you know what, this poor poor boy doesn't get anything good in our crate, so I'm not gonna give him 
every mystery decal with a decryptor because it's going to be quite upsetting. I mean, Thread X2 wheels, again, not complaining, not complaining. These are quite nice. Trade up to a Cyclone. Um, <laughs> so, this great might hook us up with something good. Oh, <gasps> yes, it's the keys. It's not the decryptor. Guys, this is me while editing the video. I just remembered that this was the crate that I got while sneezing. I sneezed during this crate and got painted import. So that must be the actual way to be getting, you know, good items. So John Tamman and Pick Pixel, I already know what you do. You sit down before a crate opening and sneeze about ten times, and then that's how you get the crate look. I'm watching you now. I know what. I know what's up. I <laughs> my theory was correct, guys. The lag as well. Hook me up. Cobalt certified Libertine wheels. These are nice. Look at the car I've got on right now. These actually suit this car. Um, now, Libertine, they're not worth a bunch, but honestly, I don't care. I have these wheels, and it's the first time I've really gotten something nice in one of the new crates. So, honestly, thanks for being here, guys. Um, Cobalt Sweeper. Now, this is where I make a speech, but obviously, I don't have the breath for that. I'm probably going to yawn like three times in the middle of a speech because... Already this opening, I've yawned like 10 times. I've just gotten up. But, I mean, let's use another key. Like, we're all, we're on a roll right now. Obviously, there's no fire god. There's no painted mainframe. But, I mean, there's something in there. Damn, I think I need to start doing more crate openings. Let me know. Oh, okay. That might be a sign saying no. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you like crate openings? Because I don't know if people enjoy crate openings when they could go and watch Pick Pixel get, like, everything in the crate painted. But, I mean, let me know. Do you enjoy crate openings? I'm, I'm pretty sure I enjoy making them. But I don't enjoy spending the money for them. Because it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine getting Fire God in this new crate? That would just be insane. I mean, exotic reactors. We're actually on a roll right now. They're not painted, but we are on a roll. That mainframe could have been... Oh, no, let's not do that. Um... I think the mainframe was teasing us, uh, the mainframe, the uh, fire god was teasing us a little, so maybe this crate opening we might get something insane. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you like um, crate openings, because I, I like making them, they're fun. Uh, painted, Crimson Painted Binary, this game loves me right now. The only reason I'm saying this, I've not actually got anything that insane, but, oh, I've seen um, John Sandman get two of these. And pick a pixel. This is a really nice trail, and it's the first time it's been painted. So yeah, it's really nice. But I've seen um, a bunch of YouTubers get this. But yeah, the reason I'm actually quite excited is just because I've opened crates in the past, and if you go and watch my like really old turbo crate opening that I did, it's rare decals after rare decals. I got an endo and freaked out. That's how lucky I am to like right now because I I get nothing. But now to get like two imports, one of them painted, and a uh, exotic wheel. I mean, that's for that's over the top for me. Never happens. Gentico, nice certified. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I didn't get a single painted or certified with eight decryptors. So I think the game actually lowers your chances of getting painted or certified stuff with the decryptor just to make it a bit nicer. I don't know, but those things. I'm glad those things are gone. I'm not gonna say anything, mate. Like Oh, what are you throwing this at me? It's painted purple. I don't even know how to pronounce that, so don't don't even ask. Four keys to go. Right now, I can get anything. I don't care. I got painted import. I'm I'm happy. Like it's not like worth a hundred keys, but it's, it's probably not even worth five keys. But who cares? It's 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 a thought that counts. Um, Jaeger six one nine RS. Starlighter. This decal is really nice. I wish they had it on like the Octane or something. It just looks so. I don't know. It's actually really nice. I think you could do some cool things if you have like anodized and then shook that on. It looks quite nice. Come on, crate. Hook me up with something nice. I uh, there, there was no lag. I was hoping there was going to be lag, and then it would be like painted reactor wheels. What do you mean Starlighter, obviously? I shouldn't have said that I liked it because now it's going to just give me them. Two keys to go. Let's see if we can get, like, an epic music starts going up. You know, music is going to start going up. Not yet, not yet. Music's going to start going up in a minute. And the last crate, you know, it's going to be a banger. The, the beat's going to drop on it, trust me. And, yeah, it's going to be insane. Painted binary again, purple, maybe. Lime. That's lime painted binary. I'm not going to check the certification because, yeah, 
So that's lime, I can already tell. Um, but yeah, that is, that is nice. Now, whew, last key. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a sip. The music's gonna go up. And just prepare for the beat drop because this is when I get something insane. Oh my god! No way! No! Oh, oh, oh. I just, no way did I just get Thread X two wheels. Damn. That was sarcastic, by the way, guys. But I mean, I had to do it. I wanted to get the beat drop in there. Anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. I'm just going to take a little quick look. Um, you know, if the game actually wants to work, if I can click show filters and click recent. Mm, kind of, yeah, the, the game's working. Yeah, so this is what we got, basically. Um, actually, why am I saying this? You watched the video. Of course you know what we got. But anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. I mean, crate openings are really fun. On Audacity right now, I've got to about 11 minutes, so uh, I think it's nice to wrap this up. But let me know how many crates you want me to open next. Do you want me to open more Zephyr crates, or do you want to, do you want me to wait until a new crate comes out before I open a crate? Because there's probably going to be an event next. Um, but anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Personally, this was a really fun video to make. But I'll see you next time. Goodbye.